I'm going to do the next bit of my navigation, understanding compasses and maps. Um, and this bit I'm going to show you how to just orientate your map for people who don't know, or people who are doing this part of the Duke of Edinburgh, Army Cadets, that's how I learned the Army Cadets. Um, it's an important skill as well. I know there's a lot of GPS devices and navigation devices and mobile apps, but at the end of the day, you, you need to understand the basic skills. You can use whatever you like. My preferred method is map and compass. And the better you get to understanding the map, the less you're going to actually need your compass. So let me just quickly go back to this compass. Remember from the last video I showed you the layout of the compass. Sorry about that. So this part, this bezel part now, this is the important bit that we need to focus on for this one. So as you can see we've got our orientation lines and we've got our bearings around the edge. Okay, so for those who don't know, north is 360 degrees or zero, uh, east is your 90 degrees, south is 180 degrees, west is 270 degrees and then back to north. Okay, and you've got your north arrow which is red and your south. Okay, so what we're going to do for this, all we need to know when we're in a map, let's get a different map. All I want to do is say I'm, I know roughly where I am on this map, but I want the view in front of me to represent what's here. So I need to orientate this map to north. Okay. So remember the lines that I showed you? Get everything marked up to your direction of travel line. So this will match your north. Okay. So they're all pointing in the same direction. Get your map, and you'll see blue lines. Okay, these blue lines going across, which is your easterns, and you've got blue lines going up, which are your northerns. So what we need to do is match the northerns to our direction of travel lines. So find your blue line, your northern, line it up to one of the lines on the inner, these bits here, so your orientation lines. Now once that's mapped, marked up, marked up. You then simply move the map and the compass in position until your north arrow is in the north direction of travel. Okay, so the northerns are still lining up with our direction of travel and now the north needle is in the north part of the bezel okay so your orientation arrow and your orientation lines are all matched up with your direction of travel and your map so the map is now north so if I'm stood behind it looking that way whatever I see on the map in front of me is what I see in real life in front of me so that's all that it is yeah people get that so I'll do it really quickly again so wherever you are on this, make sure that your orientation arrow lines up with your direction of travel. Then line up your orientation lines inside the bezel to your northerns on your map. And then spin the map and yourself, if you're stood on that side of it, so that the map then lines up to north. So if I know that I'm now, say, here, what should be in front of me should be a 3D 3D visualization of what's here in front of me should be visually what's in front of me in real life, if that makes sense. Yeah, so that's how to orientate a map. It really is as simple as that, really. Um, now there are you really, really quickly, I'll do a separate video on this, but in fact I will do a separate video on it. Um, there are variations to magnetic north depending on where you are in the world and it's called magnetic variation or declination and I'll explain that and in the UK we don't have to worry about it but if anybody's watching this from somewhere else you're going to have to take account of it so I'll show that in a separate video. So 
That's how to orientate a map. Really simple.